What's up, guys? It's Chuck from Brady Adventures, and I got Forrest with me. And what's up, guys? And we are going to install this FHS 700 BS CD RDS receiver. The BS receiver. <laughs> it is the BS. This thing is total BS. One of the coolest things about this Pioneer head unit is it comes with a remote control, and you know everybody always wanted one of these. Instead of having to go like that and lean forward and stretch maybe like pull a tendon or something yeah you can just have this remote control i mean i could even just velcro it right on here perfect shift and just turn up the music <laughs> you don't have to move we're going to install this blue c systems usb port which is an extra one from some of the work that i did on the land cruiser over there so the tools we use for this project are Boom. So I use eight millimeter nut driver for the stereo. I use my Phillips screwdriver a lot and I use this panel tool, but I use the chisel and the hammer and a wire stripper crimper. I actually didn't need the wire stripper because they were already pre you kind just, of stripped. Right. I just had to crimp them together. Definitely want to get, I think this thing on Amazon was like three or four bucks, whatever. I'll put a link to this. I'll put a link to the Panel tool. Panel tool, all this kind of stuff that we use. This, I know I got that on Amazon, it was cheap. A double den Tacomas, at least this one, you you mount it straight in. No faceplate. No faceplate or anything. So we'll see how well that goes. You just take the brackets off the stereo that's in the car and screw it into this thing. Um, it's pretty easy. So we've got a couple little plastic rivets we're gonna take out here. We got some screws up in here. Um, and then a couple screws in here. We don't have to do anything. Thank goodness with the yeah with that guy mess. First thing I'm gonna do is get down here And it's nice to have a little panel tool Now mine are I think mine are kind of broke so they just kind of pop out pretty easily so um, what you want to do if yours isn't broke is um, You're gonna pry it out and then when you put it back in You know you keep that little pop it out like that and then you push it in, and then you push the pop it. Mine are pretty much trash, both of yeah, them, so they're okay. easy as hell to get out. Um, step one, woo! Down here, this this bottom piece just sort of just pops out, doesn't it? Pops out. So we got the two little clips, and now what I have to do is undo. Sure the clips are yeah. So there's a clip here Inside. and here, and and so th those should just slide out easy. You have to undo these, and these are a total pain in the butt. Well, not too bad. Last week when I took these off, they were really hard to get out because I, I think maybe they were never taken off before. Um, the little grease Yeah, that would be smart. So now they came off pretty easy. But this right here is where I want to... It's fairly easy to take one of these off and put my USB Ooh, charger in there. Here, and there's like, I don't know, some kind of, ooh. Dog hair. Dude, maybe that's the smell in here. So there's one screw down here, eh, right there. Sorry, my lighting is a uh, headlamp uh, today. So I'm just gonna take this screw out. And I've got this really handy parts holder in terms of a plastic cup holder. Now there's clips in here, but before we do that, the last, thing we have to do which is the big mysterious one there's two screws behind this plate and so it's really good to have you know oh, the knobs come off yeah so I'll, I'll put a link to like a little kit but you the best thing to have is a panel tool so you you pop these off um, these little metal things like to come out of here and if they come out or stay on there you just got to make sure you put, the right back. you put you put it back right yeah because they're interchangeable but like shit all right, so now I got all three of mine. I'll drop them in here. Now, you might just, without a panel tool, might just be able to get it off, but it's just nice to have this. Because, so it's, I'll just show you too. It's really sort of uh, delicate. Because last week, there's like a few tabs that hold this on. Last week I I broke one of them. There we go. All right, so that one came. Okay, there we go. So yeah. So if you look on the back, it's like all these little tabs, and they kind of pop out individually pretty easily. Was it, was it the top one that was sticking on you? 
I think it was this one, but but what happens is is it when you take these off and you <laughs> tilt yeah, it, it, then this is like it. bound up harder, and that's how I broke that one. Uh, last time. Oh, there's one missing. Look, yeah, there's one missing. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Now this can be a real a real biscuit. Um, there's two screws. It, over here, there's three, but it's just ooh. That one's not really attached. Apparently, I didn't tighten that one up all the way last time, um, but that one's real easy to get out without losing. This one is really easy to drop back into the dash. Just be careful, but you know, look, I've got great balance skills, so let's pull it out just like that. So now this is this is ready to come out. Um, the big thing is going to be. We're gonna have a couple more plugs on here if we even need to mess with that. But now we're just gonna, just like on the Land Cruiser, you know, it's just be real careful and pull it. Okay, all right, so now we got plugs for the airbag turn off, which will pop out just by like pushing these little tabs. Oh, this is the light for the, I think I didn't take that out last time. That's the light for the, ashtray and then you got these so I'm not gonna mess with it because we don't really need to so I'm just gonna sort of set that to the side I like using the nut driver better than screwdriver but you could do either one and this is a eight millimeter nut driver boom all right so this whole thing just slides out. Slides out. And we're going to unplug these two stereo plugs. Oh jeez. And the antenna. Right. So I'm gonna try to um, just line these up so the faces are in the same probably pretty standard screws yeah um, actually you know what it might be sort of better easier to do it like this do we just reuse that bracket does it come with one we reuse this bracket yeah does it fit is it do the tabs go in mm -hmm. they do you know what you can just put like a couple of screws Wait, that seems... why don't we just put a couple of screws in the in the hole just gently and see and test fit it real fast that sounds great so it comes with a sack of screws <laughs> this comes with the sack. All right. So we're gonna just put a couple in here. If anybody's interested in this stereo, I'll sell it to you for 500 bucks. Classic original Toyota CD player and tape deck works like a charm. But in reality, you'd probably take 50 bucks for it. In reality, I take like 10 bucks for it. <laughs> Oh, by the way, if you're doing this, make sure you eject your tape and CD before you take this out. Because then you'll be like, dang it! I'm not going to plug these in. I'm just going to fish this back. Oh, yeah, that's going to be fine. It doesn't get any better than that. You think? It's probably good. Did I bring the tape with me? No. Nah. So I was like, oh, I don't need it. I don't need the tape. I'm good. And you also need a wiring kit, right? It was like two bucks. Or it was like 250 add-on item. It wouldn't ship by itself, but it came with it on Amazon. You get these two different harnesses. This is the rear speakers. Um, these black and white and gray cables are the front speakers. And then these are like, this is remote, which I didn't use, ground dimmer um, yellow is uh, constant battery and red is ignition the cool thing is all the colors match up so the wiring harness to the stereo they were all the same and I didn't it took me a minute to figure that out um, you know they're slightly different in terms of the black and gray one is like a little more black but so that's the that's the one sort of time-consuming thing and I just did it one night we were watching TV I just crimp them all. So I'm actually going to put a little extra tape on here. I just did this at first just to kind of hold these all together so they weren't going crazy. You know these screws are good. Going to tighten these up. Put all four in. And I'm telling you this stuff didn't used to be this easy. 
Either that or I was 15, 16, didn't know what I was doing. First thing I'm gonna do is hook these guys up. So these plugs that were in the stereo now plug into my harness. Like that, and the end, oh, the antenna. But do not want to forget. What, the Bluetooth microphone? Does that plug in? Yeah. Uh, it's, then, it's right here. Oh. Yeah. And I think what I have decided to do, and you can tell me what you think. What is this one? That is for XM. This thing comes with like a clip, so you can put it on your visor or whatever. I kind of looked around. It also comes with a little sticky pad, so you can just stick this. For right now, I'm just gonna push this up around the back and plug it in, and I'm just gonna stick it down here oh, okay. somewhere. Because yeah, yeah. I, I like... You can deal with that later. Yeah, I, I need to, I wanna try the quality of the audio and all that crap. Back up around here, like that. This in. Ooh, yeah, right there, I suppose. All right, and now slide this back in. A little snug because all those wires and crap. A nut driver. Nut driver. plastic box behind there and it's just jammed around. It's jammed right, yeah, just right up against the connectors where they plugged in. You should probably uh, see if it works. Test it. Before you go any further. Oh, baby. Oh, damn. That was scary as hell. Man. I was like, man. Dude. That was not planned either. That's awesome. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is a little fatter than these, but we'll see. Maybe I can just sort of make it happen. See, I might have to do a little cutting. Yeah. Oh, I see how they work. The clips. Mm. Those aren't really meant to like, pop out. This is probably going to work, but I, I don't recommend doing it. I'm just going to take my chisel. Yeah, <laughs> smack it real hard. Oh, yeah, okay. So you just knocked one of those tabs off. Yeah, I broke that one off and that one I smashed it in enough. All right, so let's see. That is not gonna fit. Drill. Drill. It needs a little bit and I have like this, it was like a little yeah. grinding kind of wheel. It works really good. Nice and easy, try to make it even. And then every so often, I'll just stick this up there. See, that already fits but not the threads. Right, that's, gonna, that's gonna fit. I'm gonna go back here. And... If you can split that guy in the middle. Mm -hmm. Ooh. I'm gonna try it, I got an idea. This is gonna be some more Brady Adventures non-recommended. So here's the thing, I was gonna cut these wires off. Um, Worst case scenario is you're gonna have to put new I'm gonna break this. On. I bet the smart thing to do would be, like you said, a Dremel, right? Well, I don't know about that. This is probably easier. Mm -hmm. And you can control it. You gotta be kidding me, man. Brilliant. <laughs> Alright, it's not perfect. You don't have any, like, exposed metal there. I should put a little, maybe, electrical nah, tape on it. Maybe not. It's fine. It's fine. The hot is this side. Okay, that one goes right on. And this one, oh. It's a big little. It's a, there you go. Oh, so that one's a little loose. Look at that junk. It's a little loose, dude. Yeah, it is a little loose. Got green lights on, that's good now. I think it's good enough. Really? That was a whole lot easier than I thought. That's awesome. All right. This kind of slides way back down again. If 
I see it flickering. All right, take your plastic off. Man, it looks 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 pretty good. Powered up a lot faster this time. Now there is one problem with this stereo. I can no longer play tapes in here. Is that a serious issue? If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel. And always feel free to leave us any comments or questions that you might have.